of St. Augustine's University could be in jeopardy. That's the fear from a group fighting to save the university from financial straits. The courts ruled that they aren't able to make changes to the university's board of trustees who have been uh, who've been blamed really for putting the historically black university on the brink of shutting down. WRL's Sean Gallagher joining us now with this latest development from St. Aug. Sean, uh, what does this ruling really mean? Well, because St. Augustine's is considered a nonprofit, the group does not have the ability to bring a lawsuit against it. But Save SAU is a group that still feels optimistic about making changes to prevent the shuttering of this historic university, while knowing there is a reality of a future where St. Augustine's does not exist. Cameras weren't allowed in the courtroom for today's hearing, but I sat inside during the judge's ruling. She says state law prevents the group from pursuing legal action against the Board of Trustees. I think it was the right result. As the attorney representing the Board of Trustees, Ted Edwards says the ruling is due to the language in the statute. The uh, statute is very clear about who has standing to uh, bring cases um, against uh, uh, nonprofits, which the university is a nonprofit, and um, the plaintiffs in this case didn't meet that criteria. This was a situation where I think it was decided, you know, on a technicality, on statutes, and not necessarily on the merits. The Save St. Augustine's group points to alleged financial misdeeds by the Board of Trustees Chair Brian Bulware. The lawyer said Bulware benefited from a brokerage fee paid by the school on a $7 million loan and that he wire transferred hundreds of thousands of dollars with no paperwork. The group also blames Bulware for the university's accreditation being called into question. A final decision on that will be made next month. We're not giving up. You know, we're here to win. And, um, you know, we're going to keep trying to do what's best to save our institution. So Save SAU did try to subpoena Bulware but could not reach him. The board's attorney tells me Bulware is out of town but also says he wasn't necessary to be a part of these proceedings. I did call Bulware himself to see if he had a comment. He said no, he would wait for the university to put that out but did confirm he is out of state and said he's not up to date with the latest proceedings. Sean Gallagher, WRAL News in Raleigh.